So we're going to just test what we get with one light, one portable light. Well, we're testing, um, actually, we just got our Bajas. So thanks to Peter. Peter Dynalite sent us two sets, uh, one set of Baja, one set of two lights. We're going to be shooting next, a week from today. Yep. We're going to be shooting uh, a celebrity photo shoot uh, in San Francisco. So we're trying to see how, what we could create just with ambient lighting mixed with maybe a little bit of flash. And um, I think this is something very simple. I'm going to just use the Dynalite. It's set at F11 without any diffusion. And we put a uh, Roscoe O2, which is like an amber filter. What I did basically was set up all our light temperature to a blue, which is 2800. Uh, something that you guys could probably, we're going to be teaching something uh, similar to this in the future, but really down and dirty, something quick, quick tip. Set your temperature, Calvin, to 2800, which creates all of the set. Because if it's kind of boring, I mean, there's outdoor, there's sun, there's, you know, it's a green fence across, across the way, so it's kind of simple. So we want to create something with more dynamic. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to go shoot at a gym, that's what we're going to be confronted against. Like, what is it? You're going to have chrome, mirrors, people walking around. So there's a lot of chaos in a gym scenario. So yeah. how can you create portraits of a celebrity in a scenario where there's too much going on? So that's the first thing I do. It's like, well, what's my background? If I could do something special, and that's what I'll do. I'll colorize it all blue. So since it's all blue, then we have to set in a different color temperature for the talent. So we have a uh, Roscoe too, which is, it's not the CTO. It's different than the, than the CTO. Sometimes I use GAN, which is different than the CTO. It adds a little bit more yellow. You, you could really fine tune your color for your skin tone. Mm -hmm. So it's trial and error. You gotta do a lot of testing. But everybody know I'm gonna use a Roscoe too. You could use, you know, half a stop, two stop. It depends how much intensity you want, how blue that background is gonna be set. So once we get that and we balance these two colors, that should give us that should give us neutral skin tones. So from then I'm going from we meet her at F eleven. We got, you know, it's F11 from our, our, our key light, from our Baja. Then we got a one-stop diffusion. That's the filter. And that's probably three-quarter stop. So you get one-stop diffusion. So we're coming down to F8. Well, from F8, I'm coming down to, uh, you know, balancing the contrast of outdoor, which is pretty bright. It might be, you know, two stops brighter than what I have here. So to get even more creative, I got a density filter, lens craft. Uh, lens filter. It's a nine stop, so I could select what stop I would want to uh, use. So this is kind of simple. You know, it's distracting a lot of vertical lines light like coming through. So what I want to do is I want to create a lot more blur, background blur. It's different than compression. If I use my 70 to 200 millimeter lens, which is cool, we just got the new one from Tamron. Stacy, thank you, Stacy. We just got this today. So I'm going to play around with two different setups. But I think what I want to do is I want to create the actual perspective of what we have here, but I just want to blur the background. So that's why I'm going to go with an 85, 1.8. So I'm going to, I'm going to shoot at once half a stop less, maybe 2.2. Uh, that's where, I, that's what I'm calculating. And then it's going to be a really tight shot. Now also I'm using the, from, from Westcott, we got the Omega 360. I don't know how many diffusion options they have. I mean, this is really, really cool because in this case, all, all I want to do is diffuse a little bit of light coming from here. The sun coming from behind. And the cool thing about it is that since we our main light is set to an amber, and that's blue, because we set it to blue on our Kelvin, any light that's coming, all the highlights that would normally be kind of more towards a white now is a blue highlight. So it's really creative how you could make a shot yeah. just using that. And then the diffusion stops a little bit of that brightness coming you know, or some of the brightness coming from, from the back. So, you know, we test, but we already did a test earlier and we find out our settings are 60th of a second at F2.2. So, with no further ado, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Magoo. Okay, so I bring it up to, from F11, I'm cutting down four stops. So this is kind of really cool. I mean, you got a nine, nine stop variable here. So I'm gonna cut it down to four stops, almost to, yeah, four stops here, all right? So what I want you to do, I'm having trouble focusing because the density is a lot darker. So what I, I just crank up my, my light, or in this case, I'm putting my ice light. Just to get a little uh, capture, I wanna get a focusing point. And it's not gonna affect really much of this, 
If you're a sixtieth of a second, eightieth of a second, this is I said a week. My my uh, continuous slide, so it's really not going to register anything. All right. So what I want you to do, I want to get a really tight shot. Okay. So I'm going to have you turn your face slightly that way. That's good. All right. I want your eyes towards me. Very nice. Hold it there. Lean just your body a little bit forward for me. Good. That way. That's nice. Nice, and I want you to look off camera. So you're gonna, good. Drop your left shoulder, relax your left shoulder a little bit. Nice, here we go. Eyes on me. So one, two, and three. Very cool, very cool. All right, so that's what we got. Could you guys see it then? How do you do it? Right. Go take a look. Where your focus? <laughs> right. I don't know if it would focus, but. Anyway, it's kind of cool. It's just something I we wanted to share with you. We got our new Dynalite, so we're kind of playing around with some options that we have to take on location. And we got this Diffusion, uh, the 360 Omega, so I want to play around with some of the stuff we have, you know. I will have a couple of assistants, so meantime I put it up on a, on a go bar, but you know, I could really just mold the light. Whatever I want to cut light here, and create something really cool all in camera. So that's the whole objective of this. Test and see what we're able to do, because we can't test there. Right. Right? All right, good, good. All done. All right, lock it out.